Alrighty guys, we're looking at lands and lands, W lands. I'm not actually sure how to pronounce that, so I'm just gonna say W lands, okay? So do you remember what land stands for? You should know what a land stands for. We did do pans and hands last year, okay? Pans was a personal area network, and then hand was a home area network. So now we move on and we're just getting bigger and better. So the LAN is a local area network and the WLAN is a wireless local area network. So let's have a look and see how do we define a LAN. Let's see what we can say for a LAN. So if you're going to write this down in the test, a local area network is computers connected to each other in close proximity capable of communicating, sharing resources and information. Those, the first thing there is close proximity. So a LAN is a very set area, okay? It's not across an entire country, that's too big. So it's something more like your school or a local business, for example, that would be a local area network. And it says it is capable of communicating, sharing resources and information. So guys, whenever you have two devices that are connected to each other, you have a network. If those two devices can share information or communicate with each other, there's a network that's been established. So that is what a local area network is. So what would a wireless local area network then be? Well, it's basically just the same, guys. Computers connected to each other in close proximity, capable of communicating, sharing resources, information. However, this is where the wireless stuff comes in, using radio waves or radio frequencies as opposed to cables and wires. All right, so that's the main difference between a wired network and a wireless network in terms of a LAN. So what is the role and the purpose of a local area network? Well, have a look here. We've got all of these little computers. Let's just imagine that these are all the computers in your computer center. And I've thrown in a printer there as well. If your school's feeling lucky, they'll just like, hey, there's a printer for you. Thanks, school. And then, of course, we have this guy. Okay, see if you remember what that is. Maybe you do, maybe you don't. That one, I mean, that's giving it away. It's telling you what it is. It's got the server on there. And then that, what does that look like? So this is kind of like a setup of a local area network. So let's see what are all these things and what are all these connections doing? All right, so we've got all of our computers. We have the printer as well, and they're all connected to each other. How? Through that thing over there. That's a switch. Okay, don't forget that. That's a switch. So that's a special box that connects all the wires to each other. So it gets everything to connect in one place. And now, because there's a switch, all the computers can communicate with each other. We can share information. We can share resources, such as the printer, for example. The switch goes to the server, and the server then goes, if it wants to have internet access, uh, like through a fiber connection or something, there will be a special router that the server is connected to as well. Well, that is the basic illustration of a local area network. All right, so I hope that sort of makes sense. Now, let's have a look in terms of a wireless local area network. Pretty much the same situation as before. We have all of our client machines. Here they are here, all the laptops or computer or desktops in the class, and they're also all connected. But in this situation, because we're talking about wireless, you can see that they're going to what's called a wireless access point. There you can see there's a D-Link router there or a D-Link wireless access point. Sorry, it's not a router, a D-Link access point. And that is a wireless device, which is also connected to the server and is connected to a router. Now, what I do want you to look at is at the top there, we've got 802.11. And I'm sure you've seen this before. You've seen it on many, many computer ads and many device ad specifications. What does it actually mean? Guys, the 802.11 is a special frequency reserved for wireless devices to legally operate in. It's a frequency that they're allowed to operate in or on, and that is why it's referred to as 802.11. That's the frequency. I mean, I'm not a professor or a scientist, but I do know that that is a frequency setting, and the radio waves operate on that frequency, and that is what we refer to as a wireless connection. All right, so when you see 802.11 devices, you already know that it's going to be a wireless device. All right. So now that we have a local area network, what are the 
advantages? What are the good things about having a local area network? Well, first of all, the main one is that all of your devices connect to each other. They're no longer separate and their own machines, just standalone machines on their own. Okay, they can connect to each other. That means that there is now communication that has been enabled on all the machines. And because of that, we can now share information and resources and we can centralize our data. I hope that makes sense. Centralization of data basically means that all your files and folders and pictures and videos and homework and essays and stuff that you do on the on your computer network, if you're putting them on, on a central location like the server, all right, that is centralization of data. Everything can go on the server and you just log on to any machine anywhere on the network and you can access your stuff from the server. That's the centralization of data. The sharing of resources, if we're looking at the sharing of resources, we're looking more at things like printers, for example, where you can have a printer in a classroom or in a, an office somewhere and everyone who's on that network can connect to that printer and print to it. So no longer having to buy a printer for every single person who needs one. You don't need that. You just have one shared printer. And the best news, connection to the World Wide Web. Yes, because we can share the access to the internet via the server or, or through a, a proxy server or a proper, uh, you know, shared access on your main server. So, I mean, it just really is so much easier. So these are all the advantages of having a local area network. However, there are some disadvantages. First of all, very limited physical space of a local area network. I mean, once you've got all the computers in and all that cabling and wiring is down and all the boxes are put in place and stuff like that, and the switches are up and all that, great. But the moment you need to expand, you need space to do that. So there is limited space in terms of a wired network. If the server goes down, you go down, okay? That means that if, if you're being authenticated via the server or if you're busy trying to access your data that's on the server and that server is not up and running, you have a problem because you cannot access your stuff and you may not be able to actually get online either because you're not being authenticated on the server when you log into your computer. So it's essential that the server stays up. Of course, then you need an IT admin guy. They are the superheroes of any office or school space. Let me tell you, they make sure that everything is up and running so that you guys can do what you need to do. So the disadvantage, sort of, of a local area network is that you need to have a specialist person with the IT administrator skills necessary to maintain the network. And that's just an expense that comes into play. Because everything is connected, a virus, if you get hit by a computer virus and it is on your network, man, it will start to spread from one machine to the next or from one user to the next, depending on what sort of virus it actually is. So that is also a potential disadvantage of a local area network. Right, let's look at wireless local area networks. So what are the advantages of having a, a local area network that is wireless? Well, it's actually very easy to add devices to the network because you just add them wirelessly. There's no cabling and extra wires to plug in and more switches and, and stuff to find, you know, to plug things in. It's actually pretty easy to add more devices to the network because it's all wireless. There's no more cluttering of wires and cabling and all that sort of stuff. And of course your range, if you need to extend the range of your network, you can do so with the use of WAPs. Okay, now what is a WAP? All right, a WAP is a wireless access point. Spoke about it earlier, wireless access point. And you have more wireless access points, the more you have, the greater the range of your network. That's pretty cool. And of course, you can have more than one kind of device. You can have mobile phones, smartphones, you can have tablets, you can have uh, laptops, okay, hybrids, all that sort of stuff. You can connect to your wireless local area network. So you're not limited to whatever can have uh, an Ethernet cable plugged into it. So what are some of the disadvantages of a wireless local area network? There are a few, okay? So for example, if you connect more and more and more devices to your network, it starts to slow things down. Everything gets really slow. So the more devices that are slowly getting onto the network, the slower your speed is gonna get because it's have to share it out to everybody, okay? 
signals, wireless signals, can be affected by physical structures. So, you know, uh, wireless frequencies can travel through physical structures, but the more they have to travel through, the weaker they become. And that's why we use wireless access points to sort of mitigate that, okay, so that you can have a signal and then we have a repeater somewhere that then boosts that signal. So we use repeaters for that, right, or more wireless access points. There are greater hacking opportunities on a wireless local area network. Why? Well, simply because it's just so much more visible. I mean, you've seen it on your own devices when you're walking around or you're at a hospital or a clinic or a, a shopping center or something. You just look at all the wireless access points that are not hidden and just busy broadcasting for the world to see so easy to try and start hacking those and that's what a lot of people do so there you go local area network and wireless local area network